Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Tunstall, just outside Tunstall Town Hall. Um, taking a look at uh, the multicultural and cultural en enrichment in Tunstall, um, in the town centre, with up the uh, side streets and things like that. Um, it's a very, very run down place. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the buildings, what sort of buildings um there was here that there isn't no more and what sort of businesses are doing well we still got tunstall cafe which i think is absolutely brilliant i'm just going to make me way sort of down here got some bins there i'm just going to make me way sort of down here and just show you sort of what tunstall town center has become which is all this sort of stuff here let's go around the car just here look at all this rubbish hey guys this is in the town center this is normally in town centers you see that town centers get cleaned up more than sort of most places yeah let's just wander across here i'm not sure if this is actually a private car park i don't think it is i think it's a a car, a car park that's run by the council look at all that there fly tipping and we see all this along here do you feel enriched guys do you feel enriched um, I'm just gonna step over I'm gonna watch out for needles as well guys I'm just gonna step over that there and just show you sort of um, the state of the bins look at all this here look at all this this is absolutely crazy this is this is Stoke on Trent City Council Look at all this. Where are the council, eh? You know, they 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 the ones that sort of let this sort of stuff go on. It's absolutely ludicrous. It really is. So I've just been speaking to a, a lovely chap um, that has been reporting rubbish around here for quite some time and nothing ever gets done so it just shows you that the locals are reporting this sort of thing that's going on and obviously nothing gets done um, so look at this glorious building that is nothing now and then we got a got nothing building here now this used to be Heron Foods I'm sure of it and if we take a look at them buildings up there this is our this is our history this is our um our english culture and look how it's all falling apart you know no investment from the council no one no outside investment from anybody else you know we see all the shops shut down but then we see paratha junction i know it's not open now uh, authentic desi style breakfast that's obviously doing well i wonder why seems like all the english places are shut down but yet all the cultured um sort of bit uh, all, all the cultured sort of businesses are doing well but look at that guys it's just a home for pigeons now ain't it and then if we just turn down here guys and we can see all this here oh my lord See all this sort of rubbish here. There we are, another sign for Stoke on Trent City Council. Uh, they're a waste of space around here, aren't they, guys? Um, you know, look at all this. It's, it's absolutely, oh my God, it stinks rotten. It absolutely stinks rotten. Really does around here. Not good. Catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon, catch the pigeon. <laughs> don't you just love town pigeons eh so we're just crossing over the main road now guys and uh, taking a look up the alleyways behind the back of them shops that we saw and the fallen down shops I was going to take a look at the state of my suppose there'd be some form of drug paraphernalia around somewhere the state of that grid there 
yeah this is a uh, it's definitely a bad alleyway this is um we're gonna have to watch where we step um i don't know what that is there uh, but we've got a lot of these bottles here are they uh, oh no it's just some jamaican beer or something like that but yeah look at this guys oh my lord look at that in there it's absolutely gross isn't it this is what tunstall town centre has become and it used to be it used to be the place to go and we can see little gas canisters as well where they've been tooting little canisters of gas uh, we see small ones big ones all different types uh, well i can't stress enough that this is a apparently this is a multicultural area it is an area um, of cultural enrichment do you feel enriched watching this video guys look at the state of that these are behind the buildings we filmed that were falling down with the pigeons outside this is what's been left they've just been left to rot away you know and them are gorgeous buildings and i would probably say if they grade two listed buildings then i would have thought they'd be the the council would want them to be restored to the former glories which you can see they're not yeah there's glass everywhere guys yeah it's really really bad i think we're just behind a vape shop now i'm pretty sure of it pretty sure we're behind the takeaway as well which you can tell by them black tubs because that's what has the uh giant uh, the the black giant tubs the chicken fillets they are and just down here guys we can see we've got hypodermics so as i suspected and it stinks of piss as well we need to watch where we sort of treading um there's everything going on here isn't there obviously these are from takeaways aren't they where they've had the deliveries probably this sort of stuff we've had the delivery on there be bad what's that sign say uh, this means if you are if you call by the police drinking you're gonna get arrested basically um but we know that that isn't gonna happen um but yeah look at all this yeah uh yeah just dump it there don't they because the bin's full um but that'll be because if it's brown's recycling they'll have to pay somebody to to come and collect this they clearly don't do any recycling uh, but if they've got to pay for someone collect it they won't want to pay will they nuts in it yes guys so this is um more more just dumping they clearly haven't got a grip on things in tunstall and bear in mind guys this is only a little bit of tunstall there's much more to it than sort of this this is only sort of a little bit of tunstall it's all that rubbish yeah almost an empty bin you know what i mean you would have thought even if someone's dumped this sort of stuff they'd go you know what i'm gonna use that bin <laughs> and they haven't they've just left it there that shows what sort of people are living around here so guys we're just walking down this road here just behind linton shop fitters now look at all this here oh my god look at that you dirty dirty bastards look at them they've had a go at sweeping up haven't they you know i don't know i, I, I would say that's probably their rubbish but maybe all the stuff that's underneath isn't uh, oh my god this is gross look at all that down there oh my god yeah definitely from the shop fitters linton shop fitters yeah absolutely disgusting look at this underneath here guys this is the grid this is the grid <laughs> nuts ain't it and um, what's that <laughs> that's funny look 
I want to watch TV. <laughs> you want to watch me on your TV, don't you? Uh, but yeah, that's gross, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah, and then we obviously make his way sort of up this alleyway here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, that's what's that? Mouldy pair of tights? That looks like a mouldy pair of tights there. Uh, no, sanitary towels. Sanit new sanitary towels. New sanitary towels. Oh. Oh my god, a dirty pair of pants. Oh my god, this is. Look at the state of that grid, guys. Look at that. The council have definitely not, not got a grip on this area. Do you feel enriched, guys? Oh my god, dirty nappies here. Sorry, guys, if you're eating your tea whilst watching this. This is absolutely terrible. Anybody? For a piece of pizza. That looks quite fresh to be fair. Yeah, this is absolutely revolting. Okay, so we uh, You know what guys, I can't really look at much more of this stuff. Now I've seen what I've seen, I feel a bit sick, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um so here we are reporting from Tunstall anyway. Let me know if you feel enriched. I certainly don't. I feel sick. Um but if you have enjoyed that video do give it the thumbs up and i will see you on the next one